welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another video review and today we'll be talking about a hardware a hardware by Camry technology does the name ring the bell to you well for me it does because when I first when I first start vaping my very first mechanical mod was by Camry and it was the Camry K100 mag mod and I still keep it with me Sadly, that device doesn't function anymore. It's just it, it just died out a long long time ago So I have it right here. So I'm gonna show you guys. This is Camry Mechanical me the, the mechanical mod by Camry the K100 the K KE Seek This is this for me is legendary and I keep this on my shelf for this play So Camry nowadays recently I would say recently they have been stepping up to the plate. They came out, they came out with their own uh, make uh, all those regulated box mod. Okay, they started out with the the basic one, which only runs around 20 watts, if not mistaken. Yeah, a mini mod running on 20 watts, a regulated device. Then they move on. They upgrade themselves. They go up to 30 watts, and then the 30, and then another one which is 30 watts version two, and which lastly is the Camry that runs on 60 watt with a large display screen which I saw a review on YouTube by Mr. by Mr. Rip Trippers if I remember. Yeah, a a mechanic a mechanical mod that runs on 60 watt with a very large display screen just like a mobile device. That one I think looks really cool, okay? It looks really cool, but sadly I don't see any any on sale in in Sarawak right here but right now yesterday I went to uh, uh, I went to Satok Plaza I like people on there I managed to pick up the latest the very latest hardware by Camry technology which is the also the 60 watt version with temperature control which is right here in this in this wonderful looking pouch a a camera pouch i mean most of the most of the of the mod box that came that came with are either in a in a box or in in a gift box look alike packaging but this one for camry they use this um they use a pouch to, as a package okay they use a pouch as a package and also this is a very very good pouch because not only you can store your berry you can also store your e liquid and stuff like that to carry around with so right here this is the pouch itself and as you can see here the qr code the qr code and the and the and the scratch scratch for scratch coating for anti-fake and you got the website uh, located here but if you use your mobile devices to scan on the QR code, it will take you right away to the website. So right here it says uh, Camry 60 watt with T TC means temperature control. I got here is the silver version, and the back is the is is the uh, how you say the the barcode. Okay, I don't know what it does, but it's the barcode. So opening this up, you just unzip it and in here you get your usb cable the what's this the quality quality control pass ticket and your user manual and your english user manual and here right here is the camry 60 watt temperature control hardware so this device does this remind you of anything my friend does this remind you of anything for me i say this is the this looks like a vapor shock okay this looks like a vapor shock but entirely entirely different okay the body i mean the the, the outer appearance may look like a vapor shock but Vapor shot the display screen is located under but this one is located on top here so so they just took maybe they just took the 
uh, how you say it, they don't copy but they, they took the, the the design and and and, and created created a similar design to the Vapor Shark. So what we got here a, a nice 510 floating pin which is spring loaded. Now this is good. Spring loaded pin, your USB charging port, the wattage up wattage down button and your power button. Now oh, uh, to slot slot the battery in all you got to do was pull this apart just like the vapor shock itself pull this apart it's supported by magnets supported by magnets here yes very nice very clean very very clean in here yes definitely very clean i i love clean 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 look a very clean finish and mind you this build really the build of this device right here is really really solid a very solid build and also the surface the surface of the of the uh, hardware itself this is sandblasted finish okay even though it feels rough but not too rough it just gives you a very nice grip on the hand it, it just gives you that really nice comfortable grip okay it doesn't slip off your hand just be, uh, because it has this kind of rough smooth surface and also one good thing this kind of surface is no fingerprint magnet and this is a big plus so I like my device really really clean and right here as you see the vent hole here this vent hole is actually uh, works like a uh, for for your for your battery cool down or probably for for the for the chip inside here to cool down so this is the vent hole and you got your pass and you got the pass sticker here the quality control pass sticker under here so with all that said I'm gonna slot a battery in so this holds a single at at six excuse me mouthful eighteen six fifty battery and the positive of the battery go on top and the negative goes onto the bottom as you can see this is the ribbon here I uh, push the ribbon down and you slot your battery in just slot it in come on right there. So what this ribbon do was, if you want to take out your battery easily, just pull, and your battery came out. You don't have to use your, you don't have to use any screwdrivers to go digging your battery out. It might wreck your battery. So right here, this is how the ribbon works. Just if you want to take the battery out, just pull, and your battery will come out. So with all that said, now I'm gonna put everything back together. <coughs> Now just how you put, just slide it back on and it doesn't fall off. The magnet is really really good holding up the, the compartment right here. Really really nice. So to turn this device on, all you got to do was the, press the fire button 5 times and it's on. Also, I would say this device right here is everything you could ask for why Be for a such a tiny device such a tiny mini mod right here it runs from 1 watt to the maximum of 60 watts instead of 30 watts which is very common this runs to the maximum of 60 watts okay with 60 watts and then it has temperature control that's a that's a bonus i mean that's a bonus it has this, it has this um, temperature control but right now it doesn't have the option of running celsius mode it just have the fahrenheit mode which runs from 200 fahrenheit to 600 fahrenheit maximum and off and also the i would say that the 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 wattage will round robin like right now you see it's one watt if i as i push the the, the wattage down button it goes to 60 so this this mod will will round robin yep <laughs> it's been a long time i've seen mod that had that could that can do round robin as you can see it's going up 50 59 60 and back to one this this will round robin okay round robin as the display unit here so also to lock it up you press the power button five times one two three four five and it's locked it's locked now to 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 unlock it fire button five times one two three four five 
now it says Power, uh, hit the power button five times and now it's unlocked it asks you to check atomizer because duh there's no atomizer lock onto it right now so to turn this device off this is a very strange one to turn it off all you got to do was press the plus by plus button and the negative button together like I think two seconds and it's off to turn it on is the power button to to off it is the plus minus button continuously press it and it will turn off within two seconds so to turn it back on one two three four five it's on so to change into temperature control mode okay lock the device out first okay locked it out first pressing the power button five times one two three four five it's locked now press the wattage up and wattage down button okay press it together now this is in temperature control mode so i so today today i'm gonna do something special i'm gonna do something special today like i always said i was never a <laughs> temperature control person okay i'm not a temperature control person and i have a I have my bill standing by. I'm using nickel wire today. I'm, I just have to try out this device for for its temperature control. So I'm gonna the tank that I'm using today is the the sub tank mini version two, and I I have already set up everything. So it's just that I'm gonna I'm gonna put in put in my coil. So I'll be right back. So I'm done. I have set up everything. Now the moment of truth. I, I'm sorry for because the display is too small. I'm actually running at a uh, 480 Fahrenheit. I built of 0.11 resistance. Yep, a 0.11 resistance run hitting at 30, hitting at 30 watts. Okay, the display the display screen is just just really small, but it's okay. I find it quite quite okay for me. So right now here is a temp. I I got a nickel built, nickel wire built in here with around eleven watt uh, uh, eleven watt. So the moment of truth for the temperature control. Let's see. Let's see if if there is any delay on this device itself. Because I have to. Why I say delay is because one certain unit that I really really am am pissed off and disappoint that this disappoint me was the the smoke m. 80 if I'm not mistaken this the smoke m80 boats that it has temperature control system okay boats that it has temperature control system but sadly when you put on a nickel wire built onto that device onto that hardware itself the the delay is around five to six seconds okay five to six seconds before it starts to heat up and you and also when it starts to heat up doesn't mean there's gonna be a very good vape it's gonna be a very very slow vape I just don't know why the M80 got this kind of problem so this is the moment of truth guys moment of truth and see how this thing vapes so let's click the fire button and let's see if it fires right away yes there's no delay at all and this is good no delay fires right away once one click of the fire button and it fires no delay at all and this is uh, this is good this is actually good so let's vape hmm Good, producing quite, quite, quite a power to it. There's a kick to it. Really, really, I'm really impressed for for a device like this. No delay, fire right away. Very nice, very nice. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Good. Good. I'm impressed. Okay. Now let's go. Now. 
I'm gonna try using another tank with candle wire in it and let's see how this thing performs so with this done I'm gonna go get my my other tank so I'll be right back okay now this is my sub tank plus okay a sub tank plus on the Camry 60 watt temperature control and right now let's see if there's any delay nope hit fires really really hard <laughs> I'm impressed fires really hard now moment of truth mm, wonderful just absolutely wonderful mm, absolutely wonderful hits really hard just right now I'm just using 27 watts 27 watts, I'm gonna raise the wattage to 30 oh, oh, 30 This is 30 watts right now As you can see, 30 watts, cantle wire mm. 30 watts seems to be the sweet spot when using this device for me 30 watts is, is quite the the, 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 the the spot that hits the best but I'm gonna raise it again to 35 and let's see how this how this vapes still vaping strong no burn taste mm. vaping this this device right here just is just amazing really really amazing okay I have to say, if this is a go-to tank to, for a grab and go, this will be definitely it. This will be definitely it for me. Yeah, because it's small, it's tiny, compact. You just grab it, put it in your pocket, or put it in the pouch that it came with, and you're good to go. Hmm, not a single burn taste, even though it it's firing really hard. Most of the time, when when you when it's firing too hard, you you might you're afraid that you you're gonna get a dry burn taste. But this doesn't, even though for 35 watts, it's still firing firing really 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 well. So I'm gonna raise it to 40 watts right now. I'm gonna raise it to 40 watts. So 40 watts, cool, cool, cool. man, 40 watts, and and this beast is angry. Forty watts still going strong. Hmm. Forty watts still going strong. No burn pace. Really great. Really, really great. So, in conclusion of this device, I say this is a device that will worth your money if you if you wanted to to try out a temperature control device. If you're a first timer and if you want to try out temperature control device. This device is gonna worth your money. It's not that expensive, and this is selling for only two hundred and fifty ringgit. Two hundred fifty ringgit for temp for, for a device that runs on run runs from one watt to sixty watt and temperature control system. What more could you ask for? This is the device for you if you if you if you happen to be you know if if you happen to be a newbie who is going into temperature control. I say. Go for this. You you won't regret this. You won't regret this at all. This is a wonderful, wonderful device. Okay. So if you're wondering where where Ally Vapor On is, it's located at Sato Plaza Third Floor, situated in between a DVD shop and a game station shop. You can't miss it. If you're using the escalator, go to the third floor, look to your right. You won't miss it. It's in the middle. You will see lots of people outside, lots of vapors hanging around there. I tell you, walk in, talk to the guys. They are really, really friendly. I tell you, really friendly crew are just thumbs up, guys. Thumbs up. I like vapor on, man. I like rocks, okay? So, Dexter here. Um, vape safe, vape on. I'll see you guys again on my next video review. So, goodbye, people. See you guys again.